I'm Sarah and today's video is mashup of a series of I call all about corners from my short form contents. In this video, I will include tips for making a right angle corner, an inverse corner, a sharp corner, and making perfect rounded curves. And I have one more tip about how to make a sharp corner really sharp. This is one of the videos you may want to save for reference for whenever you are making corners in your project. And if you like this content and want to support me, every little click on subscribe, like, and ringing of the notification bell helps grow our amazing swing therapy community. Let's get started! Here's my method for making my right angle corners sharp and neat. I don't like to trim my corners. I fold both seams in, then grasping the folded corner tightly, I turn right side out using my thumb to push that corner out. I find this corner neater and stronger because of the folded fabric holding the integrity of the corner. This method works really well with light to medium weight fabrics. I also press the seams flat before pressing them folded which helps fold the seam so very neatly. Let me know how this method works for you. This method will help you make perfect rounded curves. For concave curves, use a shorter stitch length on curves. Snip generously to give more ease to the seam. Once turned right side out, press open to really get that seam flat and you will find it's easier to fold the curve neatly. For convex curves, use a shorter stitch length on curves. Snip the seam like you did for the concave curves. Convex curves need more space, so create notches instead of snips. Use a point turner to scratch the edge of the seam and ensure a smooth curve when turning right side out. This method works for inverse right angles and all other angles. I shorten the stitch length to provide more strength to the corner. An inverse corner is so simple to make. Snip the corner as close to the stitch as you can. And that's it. Turn right side out and it's looking good. When sewing an inverse corner on a garment, I spend more time knitting the seam as a bulky neckline doesn't look good. Create a seam as close as you can, being careful not to snip into the stitches. Press the seam flat first, which will help fold the seam neatly. Hope this helps you make sharp and neat inverse corners. Here are my tips for a sharp corner. I shorten the stitch length when sewing a corner. The shorter stitch will provide more strength to the corner. Trim the seam at an angle, turn right side out with a point turner and use an awl to make it even sharper. You still need to be careful when using the awl to pull the fabric out of the corner. Press the seam flat first, which will help to fold the seam neatly. Hope this helps you to make super sharp angled corners. Here is another technique that can help you achieve a very sharp corner. You will require a cord or a string of any kind. To make the corner stronger, I recommend reducing the stitch length. As you approach the corner, insert the string into the fabric layers until it reaches the needle. Then, sew one stitch by hand wheeling and push both sides of the string into the corner before continuing to sew. Clip the corner and turn it right side out. Gently pull the string to sharpen the corner.
and then remove the string. What do you think? Did it make a sharp corner for you? Corners happen often in projects and it's a simple skill to make sure your corners are sharp and smooth so that your project has a neat and polished finish. I hope this video helps you in your future sewing projects. I appreciate your support with every click on subscribe, like, and ringing of the notification bell. I will see you in my next video. Annyeong!